The Nintendo Switch is fascinating, and one of the best design points is its controllers. The HD Rumble technology is one of the coolest pieces of technology I've ever experienced for gaming. And my experience with it and the system have convinced me that the Nintendo Switch would make a fantastic VR system. Okay, so let's back up for a second. I first got to try out the Switch at a Nintendo preview tour event in January. The game that had to showcase the HD Rumble was 1-2 Switch. One of the challenges you have to move the Joy-Con around and try to feel how many marbles are inside a box. Now I know that the HD Rumble sounds like one of Nintendo's typical gimmicks. A neat feature that's unsubstantial for games. The idea of feeling ice cubes fall on the glass sounds neat, but that can't be real. A neat glass would be empty. I remember being impressed during the presentation, though skeptical. But I tried it for myself, and this is the real deal. Realistic tactile feedback at your fingertips. So I want to stress that when I tipped the controller over, it honestly felt like there were marbles inside. I could feel them rolling around and knocking into each other. When I shook the controller, I could feel them banging around in there. So that example they gave with ice cubes falling into glass is complete reality. With great programming, you can do really cool things with this HD rumble stuff. The only downside I could think of is that, well, you can kind of tell that the rumble only comes on one side of the controller but it's not too big of a problem. Okay, but regardless of how cool the tech is, that doesn't mean it's gonna be useful. You can have cool technology, but it's still just be a gimmick. And honestly, I don't see a lot of games taking advantage of this. It's gonna cost a lot of time and money to use it to its full extent. And who's gonna to wanna to do that? But why I'm excited is that I see the Joy-Cons with their motion controls and HD rumble as really excellent VR controllers making the Switch have the potential to be a really fantastic VR system. And I don't think I'm too ungrounded in saying that. Nintendo has absolutely been thinking about VR. For instance, we saw the headset mock-up in the Nintendo Switch patents that was released a few months back. Or even better, we have some tweets from Dr. Serkin Toto about Nintendo Switch and VR. Apparently they are studying VR and are thinking about adding it to the Switch once they figure out how they can ensure a good user experience with no motion sickness. That's understandable. I'm sure they don't want people associating their VR system with killing kids' eyes like what happened with the 3DS. Toto does remark that he doesn't think the Switch can even handle VR and that he's puzzled by the remark. So it's worth keeping that in mind. In its current state with the 720p screen and hardware specs, Nintendo Switch VR probably wouldn't work out too well. But hardware revamps aren't too uncommon anymore like we're seeing with the PS4 Pro and even Nintendo's own new 3DS. I could easily see a Nintendo Switch VR edition in the future. But let's put all those hardware specs aside for a second and just explore this idea. The design of the Switch with its flexibility of being a portable, home console, and all the in-betweens is perfectly suited to becoming a VR system. All you need is a plastic headset to slide the system into and, well, it already comes with two motion controllers. So what does the HD Rumble have to do with any of this? Immersion. The ultimate goal of VR is to put you into a believable virtual world where you can interact and become immersed in. Now maybe you've seen Barry Kramer's video about the immersion fallacy in gaming, and if not, you should check it out. It's a really good argument as to why the big trend for immersion in gaming doesn't necessarily make a fun game. And I agree with him. The term is meaningless, the concept doesn't imply a fun game, and honestly it's just overused all around. But in the context of VR, I still think immersion is essential. Being immersed in a game lets you naturally interact with that world, which ultimately will improve your experience of having fun. VR is a new kind of way to play games, and for it, you need to be immersed. In psychology, there is a concept called body ownership that's essentially your brain's understanding of what and where your body is. It's an interesting question. How do you know your hand is your hand? It might seem arbitrary, I mean, of course your hand is your hand, that's a given. But it's not as simple as you think. It turns out that your brain doesn't automatically know that the body you see when you look down is your body. When you look down and see something that looks like your hand, and it's where you expect your hand to be, your brain decides it's your hand. How do we know this? Well, with really clever experimental illusions. The best example is the rubber hand illusion. Basically, you're sat at a desk with one of your arms hidden, usually in a compartment just underneath the desk, and your other arm on top of the desk. In front of you is placed a rubber hand where your hand would be if it wasn't hidden. And then the experimenter takes two paintbrushes and starts to stroke both your real hand and the rubber hand simultaneously. So now you're seeing a rubber hand being stroked by a paintbrush, and you're feeling your real hand being stroked by a paintbrush. And then after a few minutes, the experimenter takes a hammer and smashes the rubber hand. What happens is really interesting. People jump back scared. Now, this isn't a case of people just being scared because I had a hammer suddenly smash in front of them. This is analyzed against controls that didn't get any stroking, so the effect is real. So what's happening? 
Well, basically, your brain has adopted the rubber hand as your real hand. You see a hand in front of you and you're getting matching sensory information with the paintbrush, so your brain decides that that's your hand. This has been done in many forms, even full body illusions. And I could go on and on about this for a while, but the main point is that you can fool your brain into adopting another body-like object as your own body. And a big thing that helps improve this immersion is tactile feedback. Really, any information that helps sync up what you're experiencing with what you're expecting. It's like this. You're in a virtual world with an avatar that you need to believe is your own body. It's entirely possible. All you need is more information to convince your brain, and tactile feedback is a great answer. So now you have this HD rumble technology in virtual controls, and I think the implication is clear. This high resolution tactile feedback can help immerse you in a VR world and give you a sense of ownership of a virtual avatar. I think that further research into tactile feedback was going to be key to taking VR above and beyond. Even Zuckerberg has said recently that he doesn't think good VR is here yet, that it's going to take another 5-10 to 10 years to get us where we all want to go. So it really excites me that Nintendo has this innovative hardware to help do so. Their Joy-Con controllers and HD rumble might just be a big step for VR. So while not all games will take advantage of this feature, and while Nintendo VR is probably a while away, the potential for a great VR experience is already here in the Switch. 